are here today. I'm Kevin from Earthworks. This is Jason Duffney from Earthworks. And we have the Jacksonville mom here. And with the most amazing part of this video, who are you guys? Us. <laughs> What's your names? Blenton and Blenton. Blenton, look at this camera right here. I'm Kingsley. <laughs> I'm Audrey. Awesome. Well, they are going to be here today to help me do some pots around this beautiful home here in ABCC. Um, we got the pots right behind us. We're going to start off with pot number one, and then we're going to go around each pot and show you guys how to plant some plants, some herbs, and some flowers. All right, so down here we have our bag of soils. I'm going to scoot you right here. And then right here we have our bag of rock that we're going to dump into our pot. Can any one of you guys tell me what the rock is for, for the bottom? You. It's for drainage. For drainage, yes, he is correct. And then on top of the rock, you're going to fill it up with soil. So we have Jason here. As a labor. <laughs> uh, he is labor. He is going to help us with the bag of rock and, and the bag of soil. Yep. You got this tiny little bitty hole right there. Um, all the water is supposed to go through that little tiny bitty hole. But what happens over time is if you just fill this up with soil, the soil gets compacted into that hole and then fills in between the space between the pot and the patio and just jams up and gums up and so your water doesn't drain properly. So that's the whole purpose of this because what are the, can you guys guess at this? What's the number one killer of plants? No water. Bingo. <laughs> yes. Now, it's not a trick question, but number two killer of plants. Think about it. Let's try. No sunlight. Close. <laughs> um, no drainage. That's actually somewhat correct. So too much water. Right? So if it gets clogged up and it doesn't drain, it, the water just sits in there. And if the water sits in there, that's just as bad as having not enough water. Yes. So, all right, now do the muscle and I'll be quiet. All right. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what kind of rock. You don't want to do anything too crazy big, but just gravel, medium-sized rocks are going to be your best bet when it comes to picking out rock. Yes. Next step. <laughs> all right, so our next step is to fill it with the soil. Muscle. <laughs> We're just gonna dump that down and we want to leave probably about this much room at the top of the pot so we can plant our plants and um, we don't wanna put the soil all the way to the very top because it can um, suffocate the plant so we're gonna leave a little bit of room. What's the name of this soil? Happy Frog. Happy Frog and he is really happy. Um, we love this soil because it has fertilizer mixed in with it. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. So what we're going to do is place them where we want them and then kind of see how it looks. You got it? Lift, lift, lift. All right, perfect. So I think we're going to put this one towards the back. Kind of acts as a, our centerpiece, a centerpiece plant. So we got our centerpiece, which is going to be tall, very flowery, very colorful. And then we're going to do, see that yellow plant right there? That's called a lantana, if you want to hand me that one. We're going to do this one on the side because he's considered a spiller plant because he kind of spills all the way down. So that one's a really nice one. And then if you want to hand me this purple plant right here. All right. This one is called a salvia. We're going to put him right here to the side because he's another, he's a, he's a uh, filler, meaning that if you have gaps and everything like that, you want to use a plant that's going to fill not as quite as tall as the uh, thriller plant, but just enough. That'll be perfect. Perfect. So what do you guys think of that combination? It's good. You like that? It kind of looks like those are like just in one pot together. Yes, it does. Big. Yeah, they're big. Definitely big. And I think we might have room for one more plant. So I think I'll let you guys pick which one you want to do. You like that one? All right, perfect. So this is a blue-eyed grass. Really, really nice plant. It's going to give you lots of nice texture. So this one right here is a canna lily. He loves water. He loves lots of water. You'll see him growing in really swampy areas by ponds and everything like that. So that's very nice. We have our lantana, which is a nice butterfly plant. You guys are going to get tons of butterflies with this plant now. And then this one's a salvia, which is also a butterfly plant. So you're going to get tons of butterflies with this pot. Do you think the butterfly would land on your finger? Before? It might, if you go up real slow and don't scare it off, you might. <laughs> All right, so now that we have our placement, I'm going to take them back out and we have to remember where we put them. And you guys are going to help me plant it. All right? Okay.
do is kind of lay it to its side. Get it out of here. Perfect. Dig a little hole. Let's stick it right here on the side. Perfect. Sometimes you'll see a plant. This isn't so bad right here. You'll see a plant completely covered in roots, and that's what they call root bound. It can't get out of itself. So if we did, th if we do this, it's going to help it grow even better. Yes. All right. So we have our biotone here, which I forgot to do with the other plants. So what we're going to do is sprinkle just a little bit. This just kind of gets our soil ready for the plants to kind of get nice and big. This is a starter. You smell this, guys. It smells mm. wonderful. That's sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. It's not too bad, but it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good. <laughs> Look at his it face. Like it smells good. It's like medium, <laughs> but it's closer to bad than it is to good. Yes, it is. Do you want to pour some in for me? If you want to step up close, I'll help you dump it in there. So do just a little bit. Perfect. And we'll go all the way around. All the way. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> That way we don't have to get it on you, so it stinks. <laughs> All right, you want to set that one down, and I'm gonna let you put this one in there. All right. So that biotone is a really, really Can important thing, guys. Thing? No, we're gonna take it out. You want to pull it out for me? All right, you're gonna get a little dirty, so come up close, and I'll have you put that in right next to here. So it's a little low. So if you want to lift it up just a little bit, I will scoot some dirt underneath just to give it a little bit of height. Yeah, yeah, just kind of squeeze it just a little bit. And then hold it over here so that way you don't get soil all over the, the deck. Just pull it right through. Yep. All right, perfect. And then put that guy right there. And just squeeze the roots just a little bit. Just so you can get it from being unwound. All right, I think you're good. And then we're going to pull it out just slowly, just so we don't hurt the plant. Perfect. And then let's take it and let's just kind of massage these roots just a little bit, just so they're kind of loosened. All right, now hold the whole bottom. Okay, and we're going to take it and put it in this hole. All this stuff out your way. Take it and put it right there. Perfect. So another little recycling tip, guys, is Kevin likes to use the trowels, but you can actually, if yes. you forget your trowel at home, you can take the one gallon pot that you use and scoop soil and use that to mm -hmm. fill in all the gaps. So that way if you pour it in then you accidentally pour in too much. Exactly. Yep. Yes. You can go ahead and probably dump that whole thing and then we'll move it all around. Because we have all this little little gap area. So that Yeah, that's I perfect. Put some up over there. Yeah, that's perfect. Alright. So I think we are done with this pot. The last thing that we have to do water is water the mint. You kind of want to put your thumb over it like this so that way it kind of creates not such a harsh stream on it and it kind of trickles down almost like a shower. You want to try it? Sure. Can I All try right. it? Yeah. So grab it and then just put your thumb over just a little bit. There you go. And then kind of wave it around. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. So do your thumb. Do it just like that. There you go. And then kind of wave it around. <laughs> on the plant. <laughs> That's okay, come up close. And then put your thumb over it. There you go. Perfect. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you guys ever need any services done, definitely come to Earthworks. Me, myself, Catherine, Jason, all of our guys, we love making pots for people. Definitely come in, pick our brains, we'll put something together for you. We'll even come to your house. Also, if you love how I interact with kids, we do do Kids Corner uh, workshops on Saturdays. They're very cheap, they're $15. Bring your kids out, get them involved with nature and the environment. Come have a good time with me and my partner, Catherine, and it's just awesome. And definitely come by Earthworks and check us out. Thanks, guys. See you there.